guys. Scotch four dummies. Four guys on a journey to help you with your next Scotch purchase. It's all four of us, oh boys. My God. And However, we, this one you can't purchase. Yeah. Uh, we well, hate you to could. Say, you know, somebody might have a bottle somewhere. There right? may be on a secondary market somewhere, but this went like that. 30 minutes it went. It was gone. Um, what are we having? It's a Glendro, guys. It's a Glendronic. It is the 10th anniversary of abbeywhiskey.com. It is a 24-year-old sherry, but 60.6 ABV, natural color, non-chill filtered. Natural color. Look at that color. It's like Coca-Cola. It does look like <laughs> sherry Coke. I said coffee, but it's amazing. The coffee's probably works too. Um, yeah. This came out of this sample came out of bottle 504 out of 544, and it was provided to us by Travis Faircloth, one of our subscribers. Man, who, the Scored two bottles of this back in the day. It was bottled in uh, September 2017. Distilled March 19th, 1993. Um, he paid $200. $200 a bottle, okay. yeah. But, um, and that's shipped from the UK. But I can tell you that I'm not going to pay any attention to the price because to me this is one of those unicorn bottles. It, it's that a, it is, it's, it's you either want it or you don't want it. Right. right? Um, and, yeah. and, and if you want it and you have the money, then you don't care. Yeah, so abbeywhiskey.com in celebration of their 10th anniversary, said, hey, let's buy a cask of Lindronic and let's follow a cask strength. And so this is in a sherry butt. You got 500 bottles of cask strength out of it, 60.6%. Oh, he did the, the hand wipe. What's that, dude? Because I had to. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm sorry. The flavor intensity here is just something that you don't experience very often. I don't know why you're smelling the bottle when you got a glass in front of Because I'm just... Uh, this, this is, oh, man. Holy moly. I don't even know if I want to talk about you this. You can I tell this has a high ABV. I mean, this is... Yeah, 60.6. Wow. Yeah, no, don't you know, breathe directly into no, it. The thing is, I, I did. I put my nose right in it, and it, it didn't burn my nose Okay, there, there's a difference between high ABV and knock your you know, nose off because it's so potent. This is... You can tell it's potent, but it doesn't, like, burn your nose. I get... Uh, like, like burnt brown sugar and leather. You get the leather. Leather, leather yeah, yes. yeah. Old worn leather though. Yeah. Ironically enough, when I you know when I put some on my hands and I did that, I I honestly got coffee grounds. Mm. That's what I got. Oh, I'm yeah. sure. Um, this is gonna be a deep, rich, yeah. this may be full a real scotch. We'll see. So far, I like everything about oh, this glass, man. and I haven't even tasted it yet. You know what I don't like about it? Can't get it? <laughs> <laughs> You've already thought about that. <laughs> you should sure that right. <laughs> <laughs> I should be wearing your shirt. <laughs> so this is the, the nose on this. You're right. You get the coffee. You get some alcohol. You do it. You do get a little bit of that. It, but it, like, coats your nose. It doesn't burn your nose off. It just, like, layers on your it's nose. It's got some heat, though. I mean. Uh, yeah, go easy when you take a sip. Oh, mm, okay. It's like Pop Rocks in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Hate to be the one to say it, but it's it's got a little bit. Mm. Man, that is something else. You know what I got right up oh front? Oh, gosh. Oh. As soon as I put it in, it's like having one of those, those butterscotch candies. That sweet, really intense sweet of butterscotch right up front. I better find a chink in this armor, boys. Mm. <laughs> So, that first sip is really hot. I mean, it, you do get a lot of heat because it's alcohol. But the coffee, that richness, that sweetness, I mean, the, the sweetness pervades a lot longer Damn. than you would have thought. It does transition into that, that dark chocolate. Too. A little salt caramel. I'll give you that. I think it's from the... That's a finish. It's from the uh, alcohol, though. <laughs> On your but, lips. Well, because as it's evaporating, <laughs> it, it gives you that, right. Right. that like, saltiness. Quality to it, but so I'm with you, Andrew. I was surprised <laughs> at how long because a lot of times sweet doesn't stay. You sweet know, there's a lot of other stay. flavors that that will stick around, but sweet isn't one of them. And this, it's you know, it's that deep brown sugar and vanilla notes and sweet dark chocolate is burning it's, out. It stays it's rolling out. I got a long finish. It's staying with yeah, me. I am too. Oh yeah. Oh, it's still Again, there. Mine's like it's a good. salt caramel. It just sits there. Long. I feel so. like you could go to bed and then get up in the morning and be like, hello. That's what two hundred bucks right there. How yeah. you doing? <laughs> That's completely right. <laughs> <laughs> when you smoke a cigar, you taste the next morning. This is like that. Right? Except you wouldn't feel bad about no, it. No. <laughs> Because there's definitely times when I wake up after smoking a cigar and I go, oh, man, that was not, 
not a good this idea. This will knock you off. Oh my god, I love this nose. So you said leather, and I've, I've got like different types of leather. I saw it almost smells like an old saddle, like old leather that way, but it also smells like an old tome, you, like like an old leather bound book that you yep. open up and that smell you get when you open it. Yeah, this uh -huh. musty you leather. You can tell that this is an old scotch that's been aged for a while. Like you can tell by just nosing it that it's There's so much to it. It's got depth and complexity. It's it's been through and it knows what's up. Man, it's rich. Right? Okay. So rich. Okay. But you know when you hit water on this, it's gonna just light up. Hmm. I I'm kind of excited to put a drop on there. Right now. I'm really excited. Because it's sixty percent, it. it'll totally hold water. <laughs> you can dilute it fifty fifty. Um, it yeah. I want it to cut a little bit actually. It's almost it, the ABV for me is a little that, too high. That's what I'm concerned about. It, 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 I, I, I think I, neat. I, it is absolutely exquisite. What it I is. What but I, I think that there's a lot more to it that you can't get to because it's so hot. I yeah. What, what, I, what I want to do is I want to take a great big sip and hold it in my mouth, but I think with the IEBV, it'll just burn me up and I'll lose all that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, well. We only got... Andrew hits the floor and we're like, well, I guess he's not finishing his glass. <laughs> <laughs> look what the water does to it. Watch, look at the water react in there. Look at it swirling around. It's almost like... Oh, man. Man, that's incredible. Man, now like, get now your now nose get, in there. Now I got some toffee. Holy cow. Let this sit for it a minute. It doesn't want to be in there. It's like the water, like, oh, no, I don't want to be in there. You too much alcohol. Oh. Okay. Now I'm starting to get some fruit notes. It's I know sure where I'm at really up to up. now. I know where I am at this moment in this a review. Two, two, five. Shit. <laughs> Times two. I mean, the sweetness in this is perfect. It's like sometimes you get that kind of too much sugary potency that kind of, you know, overtops the, the, the taste and palate, but this is a perfect sweet kick right there at the beginning, rolls into that fruity, nice, pungent, deep ruby red. I mean, it's, man, it's I am good. a kid in a candy store with this, Holy literally. Holy yeah. cow. Like, it's, did you taste it after you put the water oh on it yet? Oh, my God. It's so good. <laughs> so the nose after water, it, it lightened up the mustiness, and it's yep. almost got a deeper, like, date, like a wow. deeper, yep. deep One red, question. you know, some kind of red fruit. Why have we let this sit around as long as we have? How many fingers do we have on our hands? <laughs> this is amazing. I don't know. Oh. I want to be, um... We do that with everyone. I want to be the, I, I I know, be the count just, in, um, Princess Bride. <laughs> the count? I was I was I'm thinking not uh, I'm not sure four fingers. Is I was thinking the count on Sesame Street. Today's Scotch for Dummies is brought to you by One, two, three. <laughs> Oh man. All right folks, here's what's happened. The camera quit recording in the midst oh. of this review. We didn't recognize it wasn't recording her. until we had finished up. So <laughs> we have spliced in because we are not letting this go. Which is no. sad because it was our most eloquent review ever. It, this, <laughs> it, the, I, the best one ever. Done. The best one ever. ever. <laughs> it might be one of the. It right. might be the best scotch we've <laughs> So anyway, why we wanted to come back and make sure that you guys heard this. So this scotch, um, it's just it's everything I want in a scotch. It's a four from me, hands down. Neat. The nose was old leather mustiness with some dark chocolate in there on the, on the hands. It was like a burnt coffee. Um, obviously, it holds water at 60.6. The water uh, up front in the beginning, it changes a little bit, softens things up. You don't lose any of the flavors, anything, but it all comes back. Um, with water, the nose changed a little bit to some really deep, dark red, like like raisins or, or dried dates or something just something really you know real dark date uh deep red fruits um i gave it a four hands down and i'm just only thing i can find wrong with it is that i can't go buy a bottle <laughs> I'm gonna pass this on because they're out their glasses are empty we finished our review so I i'm gonna go ahead and, i'm gonna go ahead and pass it on to you andrew the, i'm in four the reason day. mine is not is because i went ahead and i added water so we are at 60 percent to start i added a little bit maybe over 50 i'm probably down to like 30 percent abv now and it doesn't matter. doesn't matter. No. It's it's He's still right. fantastic. The beauty of diluting it down is <laughs> I actually took a sip of it and like washed it around my mouth. And so there's no burn and the flavor is just this rich ruby fruit sweetness with a little bit of bitterness and it rolls into that dark chocolate and it just it it it's is good. something how you do that in a single cask, I do not understand. Our other four O's are like the, the distillery takes multiple six casks, different casks yeah. and put them all together to get that multiple air capacity. Which is mastery in and of itself. Absolutely. That's cool. Yeah. But I've never seen that in a single cask. Right. 
So this, even though it is a unicorn bottle, is worth a four because it is exquisite in its presentation. AbbeyWhiskeyCompany.com. Congratulations on your 10 years. I wish you could do this again. I can't wait to see what you do in 20. (laughs) Right? (laughs) Well, we're going to be watching that time, right? I'm going to go... Four zero. Uh, thank you, Travis. This is amazing. It is definitely a unicorn. I get that. It's it's very complex for what you're getting in a single cast. Exactly what you said. Um, I, I I am just. I mean, we you kind of said a little bit. I'm just so appreciative. I'm a big fan of high ABVs these days because I love because you get more flavors out of it and you can kind of control down when you want it to be. And this right. is exactly what you said. I can bring us down. For me, the the, the neat. It was great. Don't get me wrong. It was a little too much for me. That water was perfect balance for me to get it down to where I wanted to get into. We talked about it earlier a little bit about you know the flavors. You know, I got a little bit of the sweet toffee in the front, the butter, the butter um, scotch toffee with the ruby reds and everything else. It's really a fantastic uh, dram. I don't waste too much camera time. So guys, 4.0. If you can find a glass somewhere, if you got a buddy, you gotta have this. This is an amazing. Gotta have Thank you again. Yep. So, I watered mine down. And I was going to put more water on it, but Andrew took care of that for me, so I didn't have to. Uh, so I watered mine down in the end to about 50% ABV. Um, it was, you know, neat. It was still too hot and, and unapproachable. I, you know, I love the nose, you know, that, that brown sugar and leather. And you could tell it was an older scotch just off the nose. Um, but with a little bit of water, some of that sweet quality came forward, and it, it kind of lets you approach the scotch a little bit more. Just everything about it was awesome. Um, the finish, the nose, the flavor profile, there's no off-putting flavors. It's obviously an old scotch, and that's what you get from a quality barrel and quality new make and letting it yeah, sit and just, yep. you know, it's in a sherry butt, so it's a bigger cask. It's going to take a little bit longer to develop those, those flavor profiles. But it's Sean's just a well-balanced, awesome scotch. So, I, I already said it. Times oh, two. <laughs> Every, times. Everybody I knows mean, it's a four. After 24 years, it's still at 60.6. I think that there's just something that's, unique that's about something. this, right? I mean, um, yeah, cask number 652, the, the guy Mike, somebody from Whiskey Abbey, I can't think of his last name right now, the guy that selected oh, this cask, man. Hats off to that cat for, for picking. Absolutely. How do we go pick our cast? I don't know. Okay. You know what? Hats off to Travis for sending <laughs> yes. Travis, thank, thank you, Travis. Guys, we are live for here all Thursday. Around. Uh, please hit the subscribe button for us, the like button if you don't mind, and the bell. The notification bell. So you know right. Who doesn't want to hit that? <laughs> all right, guys. 4.0. Cheers. Wow. Cheers.